Hey everybody, welcome back to Race of History. Today we're going to do Sabaton's The Final Solution. This is a little bit of a darker subject, obviously. Um, I have a handful of history things I'm working on getting out. Like I said, I'm trying to get kind of revamped and get everything up and going at normal speed this week and going forward. We'll see how that goes, but there are like five different history videos I'm working on right now, trying to get through them so I can get them out. Uh, but this is what we're going to start with today, Sabaton, The Final Solution. Let's get into it. Nation in despair One man seeking reasons everywhere Growing hate and anger The view resort is worth precise Who was to be blamed and pay the price? Turning neighbors into foes Soldiers of the Third Reich searching homes And then their former friends are watching As they are round up one by one Times of persecutions just begun Ever since it started On this town at 38 With liberty died And truth was denied and on now one way trip to hell Enter the gates Auschwitz awaits When freedom burns The final solution Dreams fade away And all hope turns to dust When millions learn The curtain has fallen Lost to the world So there's a couple of things about this that are kind of interesting to me. One is the weird sort of rationalization and delineation that was made at trials like Nuremberg by some of the commandants of the camps or some of the people that worked at the camps where they were like, yes, we were absolutely killing people to the best of our ability, but we didn't allow like torture or, or like, I, I don't know. It was almost like, yes, we were killing them, but we, we didn't allow outright like ruthlessness towards the rest of the camp. And to me, that's, that's one I feel like that's not really true, but two, that's a weird rationalization to make. But honestly, I feel like you have to rationalize it in some way, or you just, you would psychologically break from being in there and, and doing things like that. And I think one of the reasons, you know, there's these questions asked probably in every World War II class I've ever taken that at some point gets around to this this topic um there's this conversation of like how did it happen how did they get there how did a whole country just kind of turn and and all that sort of stuff one of the things that i look at that i think sort of explains it is the like the the slow walk to hell that the reich implemented because you can rationalize these smaller things Rationalize something like Germans not being able to shop at Jewish shops, right? Like you could rationalize that to yourself. 
You could rationalize a lot of these smaller steps. But then you look up and it's, you know, five, seven years later and you're being asked to load a cattle car. But what do you do? You've already rationalized so much up to this point and for so long that you're you're in a weird sort of quandary there. Um, I don't know. I've talked about it before, but human psychology is extremely interesting to me. I find almost everything about it extremely interesting. And this is one of those historical topics where the the psychology of it really, really kind of comes through as the overarching, like, what in the hell is going on? And so as dark of a subject as it is, it is kind of an interesting one to me because of that, because of the, because a lot of normal people just have no idea how this could happen or how people could get to this point. Um, you know, that's, you hear stuff like that all the time. And that, that was what I was referencing, right? The, the laws passed to exclude Jews from civil society in 1935. Um, yeah, you have this string of laws. And that's what I was referencing with the slow walk to hell. I feel like it's more easy, easily rationalized when it's these smaller, shorter steps down, down that path. There was a nation in despair One man finding reasons everywhere Then there was rising hate and anger The viewer's sword is still applied Who was to be blamed and sent to die? Ever since it started on Kristall 38 When liberty died and truth was denied Way on trains, tents on no one way trip to hell. Enter the gates, Auschwitz awaits. When freedom burns, the final solution. Dreams fade away, and all hope turns to dust. When millions burn, the curtain has fallen. Lost to the world. When freedom burns, the final solution Dreams fade away, and all hope turns to dust When millions burn, the curtain has fallen Lost through the world as they perish in flames Okay, so that was Sabaton's The Final Solution. We'll talk about this more in the Sabaton history for it, but... Like I said, there's a couple of things about it that are super interesting to me. Another one is how much effort Germany put into continuing it and even ramping things up when they were losing the war, using all of this excess manpower and resources that could have been used on the war, and instead they're ramping up the camps. And 
I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff, but we'll get into it more with the Sabaton history. I'm curious what everybody's perspective is on this and how they kind of view it. And what are some of the more, what are the, what are, what are some of the things that kind of catch y'all's eye on the depth of this conversation? So you can put it down in the comments. I'm curious what everybody has to say. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Help me keep building the channel over here, and I'll see you all next time.